What's going on guys? It's your boy and the Matrix and more Final Fantasy 16. More Final Fantasy 16, baby. Yeah. So I got some pretty cool news because I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I don't like DLC. I, I don't like the idea of, you know, I, I spend $60 on a game and now if I want to get the full story, I got to spend another $20. That's, that's a freaking ripoff. However, because, you know, we really love our games, we really love our franchises, we don't mind spending more money because we want to know what happens next. But still, man, it's like, I want to pay for a game once and not have to pay again. However, DLC was invented so that companies can keep profiting off of one title. Now, before we continue, make sure to subscribe to the, to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell for future notifications. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, Japanese culture. If you're into any of that stuff, make sure to subscribe, baby. Now, on with the show. All right, so I am here at PushSquare.com, and it says, No Final Fantasy 16 DLC plan. Said to be a one-off game. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, that's one of the things that I hated about Final Fantasy 15. You know, the previous installment. Final Fantasy 15 with the boy band. With Noctis and the boy band. You know, Noctis and his little boy group going on a road trip. On a boy band road trip. Like they're going, like they're going to play from, you know, from concert to concert. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really didn't like the idea of Final Fantasy 15. I played it. I That is the least, my least favorite Final Fantasy game. You know? Like, I'd rather play Final Fantasy 12, and I don't like Final Fantasy 12. But I'd rather play Final Fantasy 12 than Final Fantasy 15 with Noctis and the gang. And his little boy band. Right? I know people are going to attack me in the comments section. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay, guys. You can you can you can attack me. I don't I don't care. But basically, um, you know Yoshi P. Why right? Yoshi P. The man behind Final Fantasy 15, he says that you know this is going to be a one-off game. We're not gonna do the same thing that we did with Final Fantasy 15. You know we will only we will only 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 make a, a DLC after we see the popularity of the game so because they don't know and honestly this is a smart way to go about it it's a smart way to go about it they don't know if final fantasy 16 is going to be popular and i do believe it's going to be popular you know i it's gonna at least sell 5 million to 10 million copies i know it right and but he's saying what well, let's wait and see if people really want more dlc from this game and then we'll make it that is smart that is, see, I, I, love, I love this guy. That is a smart man right there. Because this is the same mistake that uh, a lot of other games have made. Where, like, they'll release a game, and then, like, a month later, two months later, a DLC comes out for $15, $20. You got to spend more money. And you didn't, you didn't even ask for more. You didn't even get enough time to see if you enjoy the game that much for a DLC. Right? And a lot of people feel that way. And a lot of people feel cheated that you know we have a lot of people feel cheated from DLCs for the same reason so I, I, I totally agree with this I 100% agree with, with this decision and so I mean we've been hearing nothing but good news we've been hearing nothing but good news Final Fantasy 16 is full of just good news after good news after good news man this is great and Apparently, it doesn't. It's, it, they haven't really have any any bug problems. I mean, of course, every game has bugs, but they really haven't had like too many bug problems. So that means when this game releases, right? When this game releases, it's not gonna have as many like bug problems as your average game, right? So again, I, another reason to buy the game. So no DLC. Um, it's basically a Game of Thrones, the, a Final Fantasy Game of Thrones. You know, people disagree with me on this. It is, it is going back to the original epic fantasy style of storytelling with Final Fantasy before Final Fantasy VII, right? Because after Final Fantasy VII, Square Enix started experimenting with like science fantasy, right? But no, this is gonna be pure epic fantasy. You know, sword, you know, sword and sorcery, summon, steel, you know, old world, just. Game of Thrones style, Lord of the Rings style, but even better with summons. 
Yeah, man, I'm so hyped for this game. Guys, I am going to be streaming this game day one. Day one when this game comes out, your boy Andy Matrix is going to be streaming it. Okay? So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell for future notifications. Okay? I'm going to be streaming this game. That's it for this video. Make sure to comment below. Tell me what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, comment below. Like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your boy Andy Matrix. Godspeed, baby.